Hello there, I'm the Star Wars Guy, and I have brought today my good friend AP Gaines to help with some predictions. Now, we know GL Kenobi was recently announced. At the time of this recording, we have 10 of the 15 requirements, I believe. We have the first two batches revealed to us. So over on AP Gaines' channel, we just went through and predicted what we think the next five are going to be. And today on my channel, we're going to predict something a little bit different. Now with us, you know, uh, our predictions are less predictions and more guarantees, just because that's how we work. But we're going to do our best today to decide amongst ourselves whether we think CG is going to unveil the next villainous GL. And whether that's going to be Maul or whether that's going to be Fallen Anakin. Which side are you on, Master AP Gaines? Of course, I'm on Daddy Maul's side. Um, as the CEO of Capital Games, it's confirmed that anyone who thinks that he's not coming to the game is just an idiot, in my opinion. Sure, but, I read that uh, in the handbook, yeah. Did I cut out? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I said I read that in the handbook. <laughs> oh, sorry. I couldn't hear what you said. That was part of the, that was part yeah, of the yeah, onboarding yeah. It's process. Mal. It's going to be Maul. Fallen Anakin gang, you're all losers. All right. Well, I'm, I would probably uh, be a loser then. I'm leaning towards Fallen oh, Anakin, yeah. but I also don't care at all. I'm happy with either one. But let's, let's, go, down, uh, let's go down the rabbit hole. Uh, let's go down first with Fallen Anakin. What do you think some of these requirements are going to be? I have the Galactic Republic tab pulled up. We're looking at the in-game um, inventory on one of my accounts. I don't even know which one we're on. I guess we're on my Geo account because I see my Relic 5 Padme. But uh, other than that, uh, we know Padme. We agreed on Padme for sure. That's got to be. Now, Now we have to include the Relic too. Do you think she's going to have to be Relic 7? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, it's a character that not a lot of people bring up to high relic, so I think it's an opportunity to cash in on some relic uh, material, as well as he's obviously a very important character to him, um, being you know the mother of his children and everything. Yep. The reason he became evil, I think. So I think her at seven is a lock. I think you're going to need Jedi Knight Anakin at seven. Uh, we've seen that a lot now. I, I the the problem we were running into before we hit record when we were discussing some of this is a lot of these requirements for both of these characters are requirements for other things as well, particularly for Sith Eternal Emperor. So we'll see how much overlap there really is. But Relic 7, Jedi Knight, Anakin, and then... Um, I think at the end of the day, it's probably just uh, an effect of... There aren't that many... I mean, there are a lot of characters in the game, but there are not that many significant characters, especially yes. when GLs are the most important characters, which limits the amount of significant characters to their storylines or their arcs or whatever. So there's going to be some overlap... How do you feel if they had gas as opposed to Jedi Knight Anakin as a requirement so that they could avoid that overlap, maybe increase, you know, the value, the money you have to spend yeah. in order, because that makes you farm up Shakti and Greet, not Grievous, but, um, you know, the Trevis' droids and stuff like that. How do you, how would you feel if that was a requirement? I, as yeah, opposed to I, I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that's really similar to having Commander Luke for JML. Um, I think gas is probably the more the more likely option. Now, the one thing is, you know, GLs cater uh, to in-game players more. And if you're an in-game player, you have a Relic 7 gas. So that's honestly not going to be um, a big deal for a most people. For them, but it could be a step to keep new free-to-play players away, keep it exclusive more for people who've been playing longer who are already yeah. in-game, yeah. as, as more so than Anakin. Yeah, yeah. well, they actually made G uh, Jedi Knight Anakin like a starting character now, right? So that... That's the opposite move. So Definitely. I think, yeah, you're right. I think that's probably going to be gas over Jedi Knight Anakin for all of those reasons. Um, I think we're also going to be seeing now. Here's here's something we were debating. General Kenobi. Of course, we know he's required for obviously the Kenobi GL at Relic 8. But I feel like, you know, if it's fallen Anakin, Kenobi was his master. They spent a lot of time together. There's obviously a ton of story there. I think he's got to be a requirement or at least some sort of Obi-Wan and it's got to be General Kenobi, has to be a requirement for him now. Is it Relic 8 like the other one? I personally don't think so. I think it's going to be Relic 7. What do you think? I agree. I think it's it's probably 7 over 8. Um, currently, at the time of recording this, we have one Relic 8 requirement. I believe there's just one Relic 8 requirement yeah. for the uh, Kenobi that's out. I think it's going to be either a Relic 8 gas or a Relic 8, someone we haven't talked about yet, and we'll get to in a little bit. Like, I'm leaning towards gas, so I think they're going to have one Relic 8 requirement. I don't think it's going to be Kenobi. Um, I think he's just going to be at a 7. Yeah, Relic 8 gas, that's a good point. Um, moving on to some other predictions, something we, we need to consider is there's always a couple head scratchers thrown in there, right? 
uh, we had, you know, with, with Kenobi so far, we've had quite a few with clone sergeant phase one and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't be surprised for fallen Anakin to see like a, you know, Jedi Knight guardian or like a Jedi consular or something. But I think more, uh, more realistically, I think we're going to be looking at, at characters like R2D2, C3PO, one or both of the Ahsokas. Uh, definitely have to have Rex in there. If you have Rex, there's a strong possibility you're going to have his two right hand men, Fives and Echo. Um, Paris. People, people always are like, oh, that's a great point. When I bring this up, Barris Afi, uh, she went dark side before him. They fought. He was pretty angry in that episode. I think that was a big turning point in his character development. Plus, she's not a requirement for anything else. It helps out not only with Kenobi, but maybe for other GR Jedi that they got going on. I think Barris Afi could be a good requirement that not a lot of people think about. Yeah, that's a solid point. Um, a few people I know have like a really high relic Barris and they they love working she's with her but she's pretty popular now if we Obviously get outside his, uh, boyfriend Kit Fisto has to be thrown in there as well that being said true yeah and if we get outside of the light side characters I mean if we're looking at Sith I mean, you, you mentioned Dooku right mm-hmm. um Palpatine or Sidious uh, either one some sort of Palpatine I don't know if it's going to be Sidious because Sidious was Chancellor Palpatine like at that time I think they might avoid that because just the game design, the character's look doesn't support how Anakin saw him that much. True. Um, maybe they'll double up with Mace Windu because that was a big turning point in his uh, in his fall to the dark side when he yeah Mace Windu. I could see but that battle like for sure. Something like that. Maybe new Gunray. Yeah. Uh, when he killed the Separatists, maybe a droid or two. Like we have uh, Magna Guard for Kenobi. Maybe it's like B one or B two, just thrown yeah. in there. If it's fallen Anakin, it's going to be so closely interlaced with Kenobi that. I don't see how we're going to avoid some serious overlap there. Cause I mean, the timeline throws out so many now, granted, this doesn't always work. What was that event that required Eben Hawk for that made no sense? Uh, was it, it wasn't, it was either the Radis or the finalized. Yeah. One of those needed the Eben Hawk. It was like, what? (laughs) They're just out of shit to this point. But like, so it throws out all the old Republic. You can't use your tray as your revenue. None of that. It's all gone. Cause that was years and years and years and years and years before this. It also throws out all of the uh, sequel stuff. So that throws out like, you know, we're throwing out uh, a third of the game here with each one of these factions pretty much, or a fourth of the game if you consider we have kind of an old Republic and then we have the prequel, the regular trilogy, the uh, original trilogy. A surefire bet is between, if you have both of these GLs at one point, you're basically going to have to relic your entire Galactic Republic and Separatist teams. So I think if you have characters that are in either of those factions up at Relics, it's not going to be a bad thing because, I mean, already I'm looking yeah. at it, most of the characters, and we talked about this on my video with the next five for Kenobi, most of the characters in the Separatist and a big chunk of Galactic Republic characters are going to be requirements for either one of these characters. Couldn't agree more. Now that's for GL Fallen Anakin. Now, if we want to talk about Maul, how do we see things change? How do we see things stay the same? I want to start with uh, Scoundrels, which is something I think it's a little sneaky. I think we're going to have Kira for sure, as, as a, because that was a big moment. I think we're going to have her as a uh, requirement for him, and, and it's possible she's Relic 5, Relic 7 even. Mm-hmm. Which would suck because most people have her at what, like gear six so they can get her leadership max, and that's it. Yeah, I think I actually have her at like gear 11. With this, Oof, with however many Zetas she have, she has. <laughs> I can't even talk to you right now. I, know, I don't right? even think I have her unlocked on any on my account. I don't think my, my girlfriend obviously doesn't have her unlocked in her free to play account. But um, I think with Separatists, a lot of them are going to be characters that we haven't seen yet. I think we need a big influx of characters before the next Galactic Legend. So if we start seeing like, hmm. well, obviously if we get any of his like henchmen, um, the I almost said Crimson Dawn. It is the Crimson Dawn, right? Or is that a different game? I'm brain farting. I always get his Shadow Collective stuff messed up. But if we start seeing a bunch of scoundrels added to the game over the next year, I think it's a pretty surefire bet that we're going to get them all. I think the scoundrel tag mm-hmm. is going to be mostly saved for, of course, you said Kira, but also just characters that we haven't seen yet because the next GL will be 18 months from now. Um, I think, obviously, we're going to get people like uh savage maybe some night sisters talzin is going to be super important as yes. well as dooku of course asajj ventress and on this Kenobi one i think you would kind. i think you would see sidious on this one because obviously the iconic fight between oh. them listen my favorite youtube video of all time is that fight with the, the rah rah rasputin edited over it's so <laughs> good oh 
Oh my goodness. Oh, that's funny. So good. I wish I made it. I would be famous and rich beyond my wildest dreams. Even more than you already are. Well, yeah. I, uh, I'm on my last cup of ramen right now, so Uh-oh. if YouTube doesn't send me this ad revenue check, I will uh, not be here next week. You could buy a couple more packs of ramen with that check. Exactly. All 69 cents of it. Yep. So with Maul, we're going to be seeing some light side characters as well, because we know we see both dark and light for mm-hmm. requirements. Who are some of the light side characters we're going to see for him? I think well, that's... obviously, uh, again, third time's the charm. Kenobi is going to be a requirement. And I think, I think it could even be old Ben, right? Overlap. It could even be old Ben. Depends on the mall they give us. If they give us Rebels Mall, um, where he's got his little staff that has a lightsaber like hidden inside of it, yes, absolutely. If we get yeah. let me go, let me die mall, then old Ben wouldn't have been old yet, so that wouldn't make sense. So it depends on the version of mall we get. Yeah. Um, I talked over with uh, some guys over on Twitch. We were talking about Maul without the lightsaber when he got captured at the end of season seven. Yes, spoilers. This came out years ago. If you haven't seen it, I'm so sorry, but go watch it. And he doesn't have a lightsaber and he's just destroying the ship from the inside with just the force. That would be a cool version of Maul. I think it all depends on which one we get. I think if we get, I think if we get a Maul, it's going to be, you know, uh, scoundrel leader, uh, Crimson Dawn, you know, Black Sun, Pikes, whatever. He's kind of the leader of all of them, I suppose. Yeah. And uh, and he's going to have, you know, normal, but with the robotic legs and and probably his uh, what he dual wielded lightsabers. Right. Yeah. It yeah, all kind of blends together after a while. But also it doesn't necessarily mean that old Ben wouldn't be a requirement because like, for example, with the C event, we start out in the chancellor's office fighting Mace Windu and we end, you know, with all these other we end at like the end of episode six. So like it goes yeah, yeah. with a lot of different um, timelines. Well, if, if we get a version that happened before. Like for Kenobi, for instance, what the point I was trying, I don't know if I iterated my point very well, obviously not the smartest human being in the world. I'll try to cover it up here. For the Kenobi we have, it's not later game Kenobi. So we're not getting a lot of stuff maybe in his past, like a Luke or something like that. So that's what I meant is if it was, if it was after the version we get, I feel like it wouldn't make sense. If it was anything before, obviously that's fair game, but something just came to mind. If we get a bunch of scoundrels and stuff like that added, to supplement the requirements for him. And maybe they aren't the characters that work well with him. Maybe he works well with Savage and Mother Tat, like some weird team. Do you think they're going to wrap up the faction? Similarly, like in my video, we talked about Satine wrapping up the Mandalorian faction. Do you think we're going to get a Jabba the Hutt to wrap up maybe a scoundrel faction of Kira or three, you know, Black Sun, Pike, what I always crimson, I always forget the names. Because I don't know. I'm it terrible. seems like um, I think Jabba could be in the game to wrap up that. Maybe not a requirement for Maul, but maybe just to wrap up that faction. I would like to see Jabba in the game. Yes, I will start there, but I don't know that that's coming anytime soon. I feel like their focus is elsewhere right now mm-hmm. um, on these two GLs in particular. So I'm not sure about that. Um, well, however, we have to think. I did a video on this a while ago. And Anakin or Maul, it's probably going to be. 18 months before we have the requirement, the first set of requirements for him. So that gives them tons. And I don't think Jabba would come out before. I think like, I'm talking like two, two and a half year prediction. Like we're just so smart. We think in time frames that no one has considered right, before. Right. That's kind of the point I was trying to make. Two, there. two, two and a half years from now, I'll be two, two and a half years into playing Star Wars Hunters. They canceled the Lego uh, <laughs> Clash of Clans Battle Royale game thing, whatever. So I, man, Hunters, don't go that. They're canceling Star Wars games left, right, and center, man. It sucks. Hunters is supposed to be coming later this year. So, yeah, it's supposed to come this summer. They never sent us an email. Uh, Maybe we're not cool enough. We're on the we're on the super secret list, so we'll we'll keep an eye out for that. Any final thoughts as we wrap up? Uh, obviously, it goes without saying. I'm excited regardless of the character we get i myself am pushing towards the kenobi i've sunk in all of my free-to-play resources that i have left i've completely drained my account getting magna guard up getting uh gg up getting a lot of these characters that i didn't plan on using anytime soon up so i don't think i'm gonna be in contention for the next gl um but man am i excited either way i think that either would be great for the game great for the lore great for the gameplay i think i'm just excited absolutely well thank you guys so much for being here with us today while we make wild guarantees on the star wars guy please subscribe below for more star wars content every single day and head on over to ap Gaines channel subscribe to him as well we will see you guys in another video